What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug showing you a recap and a wrap-up video of all of my Warriors of Chaos character commissions that I've been working on for a client of my commission studio, Warboss Tay Studios. So here you see three Warriors of Chaos models and uh, they're all character models. These two are in fine cast, uh, these two in the front and Krom the Conqueror is in metal. And I am really pleased with the way they turned out. All of them are on resin bases, pre-sculpted bases that you can buy uh, usually at your hobby store. If not, pre-made resin bases, actually, I don't remember any place in Hawaii that sells them. Most hobby stores in Hawaii just sell the, the games and the models. Before, there's, I think they're starting to bring in more product now, but when I got up here to California and I found all of these different companies at my hobby store that are selling pre-made bases like these, I think they're a great way to add some color and flair to your models if you don't want to do the uh, normal glue some sand and maybe add a couple clumps of grass to your bases. Definitely, I would suggest spending a couple extra dollars, especially with your characters. You don't have to do it for everyone, especially if you've got a horde army, but yeah, just see how cool these guys are. If you, if you even had like 20 other Chaos Warriors that didn't have bases like these but were painted with black rims and uh, put some clump foliage and sand and paint them the same colors. I think that's a great way to unify your army and also give your characters a little bit of that flashiness and flourishiness that uh, Games Workshop models that the whole hobby is known for. You know, having really, really cool, evocative and interesting looking miniatures on the tabletop. So I hope the client is very happy with these. I uh, spent a lot of time and work on them. They're done at a War Master level, which is the highest quality skill level that I can produce. And I'm gonna be shipping them out to him this afternoon. So you got three, three characters, like I said, and you would have already seen all three because I've done tutorials on them. There's your Chaos Exalted Lord. We've got a Wolfric the Wanderer here, the Flayed Man, and all of his different cloaks and skulls and trophies and you've got Krom the Conqueror from the old Storm of Chaos campaign and uh, unfortunately I don't think you I don't know if you can get him anymore I don't think they gave him the transition over to fine cast or if they did I'm, I'm not sure because I, I know they definitely did with the Chaos Exalted hero but I'm very proud of my work and I'm, I'm really pleased with how they came out. I hope you guys enjoyed following them as I painted them up. Stay tuned because I have so much more commissions working uh, in the works right now. I had so much. The lady boss and I went out to Michael's the other day and we bought a, uh, what you call a dry erase board. And I set it up in my in my studio, AKA the garage. And now I've got all of my all of my projects that I'm currently working on, splitting up my time between all of them. So in the works, I've got if you like War Machine, I have a huge Protectorate of Minoth Army commission that I'm working on. Eh, not huge for War Machine though. It's it's uh, quite a bit of models. And I've also got a giant horde of those Bad Moon Orcs that I'm slogging through. And the Dark Eldar Venoms that I'm uh, gonna be practicing my airbrushing on, doing some cool ghost flames on those. I've, luckily, I've already got the crew painted. I've also got some uh, another Iron Hands commission that I'm working on. And uh, what else am I missing? Iron Hands, Orcs, Protectorate of Minoth. Oh, Dreadfleet, you saw me unbox and prime those up the other day. I think I might make the Dreadfleet a, uh, a project log because it's such a huge kit. Anyways, I've got Tyranids, I've got alternate, <laughs> alternate history, World War II figures, I've got Lord of the Rings stuff, a lot of stuff going on in the studio. Um, and I'm really excited for all of the projects. And also, I might choose something to do for Spooky Toberfest out of everything that I've got going on. Uh, I've also got in the works coming up, if you like alternate figures, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of unboxings from stuff that I brought back from Hawaii this last summer when I, I had to fly home for a bit. I, I brought a whole bunch of other stuff back and a lot of them are alternate range miniatures that I forgot I even had in my collection. And um, I think those are gonna be really, really fun to look at if you're looking for something else besides Games Workshop to use in your Warhammer or Warhammer 40K games. There's some really great stuff. I also have, finally, really excited about this. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, more product reviews 
coming up about uh, some new brushes, some paint brushes, very high quality paint brushes. It's about time that I cleaned out all this old stuff and got some new new tools to work on um, because as great as these are and as much fun as I've had painting with these current brushes, I've had them forever. And some, some high quality, high, high, high class brushes are gonna be just a thing to uh, spruce up the studio and um, help me get the job done. So stay tuned for that. And if you like Fireforge miniatures, Fireforge is the company that created the um, alternate knights that I had unboxed a while ago, a lot like years ago. They are currently uh, focusing on a set of Mong Mongols and th these figures look amazing. So I've got a bunch of those kits that I'm gonna do a week of unboxings for. And I even, I got so into it that I bought an Osprey book for them, uh, Mongol, the Mongol armies from a, a, a Man at Arms one that has like a bunch of history and um, paint color schemes. You might remember Ringo Simpkins for his uh, Byzantines, they, um, the six millimeter guys that I was painting up. I, I bought an Osprey book for them. And just because I loved it so much, I went back and I got this Osprey book. So I'm looking forward to it and doing all of that and uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for writing all the comments and everything. I'm trying to slog my way through getting uh, responses to everybody who's been writing and giving me feedback. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Warboss Tay. And uh, yeah, hit me up at my studio if you're curious about how much a commission would cost or if you're looking to get some work done. As, I, as you can tell, I've kind of ran through everything that I'm working on. It's, it's a little busy at my studio at the minute, but uh, the lady boss says there is always room for more projects. You can always uh, commission more and uh, grow, grow your skills as an artist and also get some money coming into the studio. So I'd love to hear from you. You can hit me up at warbostaystudios at gmail.com if you want to send me an email or just check out my website, warbostaystudios.com. That's all one word, warbostaystudios.com. Okay, the minutes running, uh, we're running at seven minutes right now. We're running a little bit long, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But thank you again for following me, painting these guys up. I hope you guys like Protectorative Minoff figures and tutorials because I'm going to do a bunch of those. I want to get those done by the end of the week and then I uh, get on to all the other projects that I've got going on as well. So trying to spend a little bit of time every day. I feel a little bit schizophrenic every hour. My alarm goes off and I have to switch to the next project, but uh, I'm having a great time and um, I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are having a great day. What are you guys working on? Share it with me. Come down to the Warboss Tay 2015 painting community. It's a Google group. It's open to the public and join in and post your work there or just follow along other projects. We've got everybody from the May Painting Challenge that's that's carried over into this group, posting up some really fantastic stuff. And uh, I'd love to touch base with you guys and hear from you. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Laters!